Mark Rogers TV on SEC Football Media Days 2012. Going on this week in Hoover, Alabama, I cover this media frenzy firsthand on location from 1994 to 2000. And yes, while the SEC is on the hearts and minds of the South 24-7, 365, the buzz really ramps up this week. What are the storylines for 2012? Well, we begin at the top. Not the top of the SEC, but the top of the nation with the Alabama Crimson Tide. Of course, the Tide didn't win even its own division last fall, but made it to the title game and won the national championship. Can the Tide repeat? Can LSU repeat? as SEC champion, and get their revenge against the Alabama Crimson Tide. Les Miles' team is mighty talented. How about those coaching hot seats? We know that they're always out there in this league. This year, first and foremost, at Tennessee and Derek Dooley. Dooley needs to win seven, eight, maybe nine football games and get his team to a decent bowl game to survive in Knoxville. And how about Mark Rick at Georgia? He won 10 consecutive games last fall to get off the hot seat. Then he lost the SEC championship game in blowout fashion to LSU and a bowl game to Michigan State. So maybe Mark Richt back on the hot seat in Athens, Georgia. How about the arrival today of new Arkansas head coach John L. Smith and the quote, do I look stupid? Well, John L. Smith has quite a track record at Michigan State in Louisville. So, John, don't ask that question. We've got a lot of video evidence from your days at Michigan State and at Louisville. So, we don't need to say anything else. And how about Hugh Freeze, the poor new head football coach at Ole Miss, coming off an 0-8 record in conference play last year. Things look just about as bleak for 2012. Hugh Freeze has invited 241 high school football graduates on campus for tryouts to try to find some football players to fill his last 25 to 30 scholarships. Hugh Freeze just trying to stay within, I don't know, 50 points of Alabama and LSU. Okay, the big storyline though, there is no doubt about it, it's not even close. The entrance of Missouri and Texas A&M into the SEC can the Tigers and the Aggies compete? How will they fare in the best conference in America? The Aggies took the respect route. They've come in humbly, paying due respect to the speed, the talent, and the coaching of the SEC. Missouri, on the other hand, coming in big, bold, and brash. The Tigers say, we belong. We can play with the big boys. We can run with the big boys. That's what the Tigers are claiming. Would love to hear what you have to say. We're thinking Missouri and Texas A&M, as the Aggies proved against Arkansas and LSU the past two years in bowl play and in regular season play, can hang with the big boys in the SEC on offense. But their defenses are going to get trampled by the best teams in the SEC. Call it 7-5 and five for both the Aggies and the Tigers. But again, need to hear from you on this subject. Missouri and Texas A&M trying to compete in the SEC. Would love to hear from you on Mark Rogers TV.